Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. I want to play with some of my oxide inks again and maybe some stencils and I don't really know. I did play with it a little bit as you can see with my hands. I just made some ATCs and actually the colors I used on that ATC is really fun. Well, colors like this actually. <laughs> this is um, me trying to use Distress Oxide inks as paints. It didn't really work on this. Um, that was in one of my previous videos, but I edited it, it edit, it's always hard to say, edited it out <laughs> because the video was way too long, so but uh, it didn't really work on this page. But I do have this page, so if I want to use those funny colors again, it's going to be too much. So I'm just going to go skip, skip a page, maybe two pages. Let's just do this one over here. <laughs> And uh, because I really want to use this again, and maybe salty ocean spice marmalade, of course. And then this is the bright color. Maybe I'll just go for a little bit less bright. So these three. Well, that's bright enough still. Um, I need some papers. More papers. Okay, let's start with this. All right, um, I have no idea what I'm gonna do as usual, so let's just start with peacock feathers. This is a really fun color. I think it's a bit turquoise like. I'm gonna layer it a bit thicker. I really want bright, bright colors. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be two pages, I think. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do one or two pages, but I think I decided it's gonna be two. So let's do this side as well. You really have to push hard to get uh, get it nicely on the paper. Or maybe get some more ink. Let's try that. Yeah, that's better too. <laughs> okay, so now you do see where I push this down and you see the circles a bit, but I don't really mind. So peacock feathers, then I'm gonna go for picked raspberry. Oh, I thought I had worn lipstick. Picked raspberry, okay. I'm gonna do that over here. This is really nice to do, although I think you need to push down a bit harder than I thought. Although, wait, wait, if you just get enough of it on your um, blending tool, you don't really have to push hard that hard. But for me at the moment, it's, whew, it's quite... Oh well. <laughs> Oh, and then you get purple, of course, when you mix this a little. I like that. So let's mix it a little. A bit purple. Okay. Phew. That's pink. Picked raspberry. And then I have orange spiced marmalade. I'm going to do that one. That oh, my chair. <laughs> Over here, but you can't see it. <laughs> Okay, my chair is, I need a new chair. We've been trying everything, weedy, for, weedy, w, <laughs> weedy, uh, <laughs> w40 it's called and um, all kinds of stuff, but it's just keeps making this sound. The chair is okay. It's still a nice chair, but it the sounds, but oh well, you're used to it by now because you hear it every video. Okay, this is hard work, guys. Question is, what do I do in the middle? <laughs> I don't know yet. Let's just... Maybe this one. Let's just first blend these two. Is this nice? Do I like this? Hmm... Well, actually, I do. <laughs> I 
But will it be nice to put this in the middle? That's the question. Only one way to find out. Let's just do it. So these are actually exactly the same colors I used yesterday. Although I did use the Born Lipstink. Lipstink. <laughs> My gosh, guys. Lipstink. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Oh well. <laughs> it's a new color. It's called Lipstink. But I do like this uh, picked raspberry, so we're going for a bit brighter colors. So I do like this as well. Yeah, right, that doesn't work. Oh my gosh, really? So this is a very cheap brand, uh, but I did buy the, I mean the, the tool, but I thought let's just buy the real Tim Holtz uh, sponges because you know they work better and they do work better but um whoa I only used it for this part and it's already broken now of course it doesn't really fit on here that's true but still come on so um, I don't think you can push too hard with this stuff but if I don't it doesn't work so that, I think that's really weird But uh, that's the problem with these things that I've had for a long time. They just, that's just what happens. They just fall off. Do you have that too? Or is it just me? Now I can see while I'm doing this that this is not uh, the best tool for these. Actually, I should use the original sponges. But they, these sponges just work better. But I thought, why buy an expensive tool when you have these for, for just a few euros? So, but... Uh, of course, it's smaller, because why would you make it that it fits? I do like this, by the way. Yes, I do. I want it to be a bit darker, but I'm afraid to push harder. But it's better. You get a better result if you want it to be really dark like this. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, I need to try those ch uh, cheaper ones again. Or buy the expensive Tim Holtz tools. But I have so many of these. <laughs> but this is ridiculous. Come on. <sighs> okay. Okay. What do you think? I want some stencils over here. But do I do that first and then put water on it? Or put water in it and on it and then stencils? I think. <laughs> Put water on it and then some stencils. I always like doing this. But, uh, oops, I don't want it to drip. Then you get too big of blots. Let's just. Oh, I like this. Now you can leave it to dry and then um, it isn't as white as when you blot it, but I do like this. So, a bit over here. And a bit over. I can also try to spray a little from a distance. See it oxide effect. Ooh. Okay, let's get my heat tool. You know what? No, I want I want to blot it. I want to have a bit more of those white specks. I like that. Look at it. But still, I need my heat tool to dry it now. Let's do this because it distracts a bit. My book is a bit too full. <laughs> this just stands up. <laughs> okay, what's next? Um, I want a border around it. So, <laughs> let's get these back. And I'm gonna do, do I do it? Uh, boy, it's so complicated today, guys. Wait, first I'm gonna get some stencils. I've got this one, I've got art, the other way around, art. I have, I had another one. I have this. Oh, I can put Marilyn Monroe on here. I do have some stamps. I thought I had a different stencil. Well, this one is okay. I had one with circles. Where did it go? Oh, on the floor. Circles. This one. 
I really like this part, but you know what? Um, I'm just gonna go over it with... <laughs> Shall I use the same colors? Oh, well, with this. Let's just go over it a little bit. I don't want the colors to go away too much. Does this work? Does it do anything? Yes, it does. Look at it. So... Just slightly. Not sure if it's if I think it's wow. Oh wait, you know what? I'm gonna put Marilyn Monroe over here. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna stencil in this corner. I'm just gonna stencil the rest. If that works. It does work if you don't really see Ooh. <laughs> oh stay here don't really see it with this color well that's a bit to be expected of course orange is better yeah i'm not sure <laughs> um should i just go over it with the same color but get some new ink let's try that what happens when you do that I like so a uh, bit more over here that's it okay I do like it so now I do want a border but what color I think purple maybe purple purple just a second I need to get something. So when I think I need some purple, I, I want this. I know I did this before and three times and all every time with purple. <laughs> Two times, this is gonna be the third time. So I can do a bit, no, I just want purple. I just want purple, guys. Um, This one, grape, I'm gonna use grape. So I'm gonna do a little border. Of this I could have done dark, done dark green or this one. No, but I want purple. Ah, so purple it is. This is a sponge that came with a, a Faber Castell gelatos. Now it really is purple, and this sponge is a bit has seen better days. <laughs> so the edge is a bit more. You still see it yes um not as nice as i wanted it to be i wanted it to be really nice well like this but this is a bit too much but oh well it is what it is and of course it mixes with the color underneath and gives it a bit more different color but look at how this page pops compared to this page so yeah i like it so let's do this side as well Okay, the question is, do I do a lot more or do I just leave it like this? So first let's put, let's put um, Marilyn on here. The question is, can I tape this? Or if I do that, will I take off the ink? Ha, ah, that's a good one. I'm not gonna risk it, so I'm not gonna tape it on. That means I have to hold it down very well. Very tightly. I'm gonna use archival ink by Ranger. And now the question is, do I use a sponge like this? Hmm, that's a good question. I knew. So here's a sponge that belongs to this thing. Oh boy. Shall I give it a try? And like I said, this can ruin the lot, but... Okay, here we go. Ooh. I'm not sure if it's dark enough. <laughs> Should have done that first. Get a sponge. 
So let's get a sponge like this that I usually use. Let's see. Oh boy, can I get it right again? Well, I hope so. No, it's not darker. Okay. Oh boy, I don't know how to do this. Ah. <laughs> because I have to hold it down. I need another hand. Can some of you lend me a hand? <laughs> I need to hold it down, but also make sure it doesn't move. And also get some ink on this thing. How do you do that? Well, guys, with great difficulty. <laughs> so it's not as dark as I wanted it to. I think I should have used... It's already moving. Oh, dear. I think I should have, you should have used paint if I wanted that. But that, how do I get this straight again? Oh boy. Okay. So taping it down is uh, way better, but I'm, I wasn't sure if it would work on this stuff. Here we go. One, two. <gasps> oh, but it is gorgeous. Ooh, I like it. So I do want this to be a bit darker. So now I can come back in and do smaller parts again. <laughs> I like it. Ah, no. <laughs> Stop. You're gonna ruin it. But I want this to be a bit darker. So her lip is very difficult. Her lips are very difficult because this is just a really small thing. And if you just move it around just a little bit oh well so i'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop before i ruin it <gasps> this is awesome okay it's better than i thought look at it awesome right so does it need a lot more i find that hard because you know me i want to Make very busy pages, and this is already busy, but it's so empty. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I can do a long quote over here, but that's the problem. I don't really have that many quotes. I do have loads of quotes, that rhymes, but they are all very small. So I can use um, alphabet stamps, but I never really like that, because I don't get them straight. And I get, uh, it just never works when I do it. Um, or I can get, wait a minute, somewhere over here, this one. Be fabulous, that's fabulous of course, but is it fabulous enough? <laughs> um, well, it has to be. I'm going to do it. Because, like I said, it's so hard to have quotes with larger letters. So you have stuff like this, creative. Well, that's big, actually, for a stamp. And then you have... I do have some bigger quotes like this, beautiful. Most of the time, you know, it's like this, very small letters. So for this, I need, to, I need it to be bigger. I do like beautiful, but I think she's more fabulous. She's beautiful, but she's fabulous. I, you know what, I'm just gonna go for the Be Fabulous. I'm inking it. <laughs> oh boy, will this work? We'll find out. Boy. And otherwise I'm gonna use pen. That's fabulous. That's what I always say with this stamp. <laughs> Okay, oh my gosh, I do love this. So what do you think? Do I do more? Um, I can go around this, you know, the usual. It makes it a bit more fun. So let's just do it. It is what, you, what I always do, and I know it's not really that exciting anymore. But to be honest, it's just... It fills it up a bit, because look at it. It's fabulous, right? And this one. I do like it. 
Right. Um, maybe I, I can stamp some, just very little, some black stamps. So like this thing, or little hearts. Ooh, it might ruin it. <laughs> I've got these. This is difficult. Difficult. Really, really difficult. Um, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. So, um, this. I'm gonna ink it up real good. Off camera, I think. Okay. I need a piece of paper, otherwise I'm gonna stamp on the page. That's just below. I don't want you to see the R that well, so I'm just gonna do this. Because I don't know why. Now the line isn't straight anymore, but is that bad? Oh no it isn't. Look at it. Hmm. Do I do more or do I leave it like this? It's so difficult. I can do more, but um, maybe the other one. Where is it? This one. Just very lightly push it on. So I've got this one. Ah. Let's do it the second time. Yeah, that's what I want. So I'm going to ink it up again. Stamp it once and stamp it over here another time. Oh boy. Yes, yes, that's what I want. And then stamp it over here again. Let's do another one, a circle. So I do want one from this, I do want this circle. I love the heart, but it's maybe a bit too much. Okay, I do like that. And then maybe a little bit over here. I think that's enough. I think I'm gonna stop, except for a little bit over here. Well, you don't even see that. Okay, let's do another one. Stop, 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 close it and stop. <laughs> This I like. So, um, I'm gonna clean this all away and I'm gonna do one more thing. Guess what it is? Yes, time to guess right now. You guessed right! <laughs> I got some dots. Cause, well, I don't need to explain. I just got some dots. So I have, this is too bright, that's too bright. This is too light. That, oh, there's the wrong dot over here. Oh well. Oh, this one. This one, the blue one. Ooh, look at it. Dots. There are two left. Well, then I'm gonna use two. Oh, I can't get it. Ugh. <laughs> Come on. Sometimes it's so hard to get these things on the spot you want them to be. Okay, well, almost. It's either too low or too high. Come on, you can do it. But I think it's a bit weird. It looks like two eyes. So maybe a little sparkly one next to it. Yeah, I like it. So guys, it's finished. I mean, I absolutely love how it turned out. I was so afraid when I started with these colors because uh, I think last year I made a page with beetles, with stencils of the beetles, and it had bright colors as well. And it was one of the most ugly pages I ever made. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, I really don't like that page, but this one turned out fabulous. <laughs> So again, let me show you up close. Look at all these layers, guys. I really love working with my oxide distress inks. I really love the fact 
that it has such a pastel look. And then you have all those splatters. You can, of course, leave them to dry and then they have a bit the color of the background, but I always blot them and then you blot the ink away. So uh, you get these whiter specks, but I absolutely love that. Look at Merlin, isn't she gorgeous? And, well, some stenciling over it. Didn't go the way I wanted it, but using the same color is... You see some stenciling, but still it's really subtle. A bit. <laughs> And then some stamping over it, and I absolutely love how this turned out. I really want to do some more over here because I need to fill everything, but there's lots going on over here, so it's okay. So I wanted the border to be really purple, like over here, which is really nice, but then over here it gets really dark. Of course, I, got, uh, I went over green, so it, it turned out to be a bit darker. And of course the sponge was a bit broken, and then you get these smudges, but actually it's really fun. It would have been too clean if it didn't have these smudges. So, turned out okay. Happy accidents. <laughs> and then, of course, the finishing touch. Lots of touch. <laughs> uh, that sounded a bit weird, but if I said the finishing touch, then you get lots of touch. Well, it is a page made by a Dutch person, so okay. But, of course, it needed a few dots. And you don't really see them, except when the light hits it, then it shimmers. But I'm very happy with this. You know, I would love to know what you think about this page. Leave a comment down below. I always love reading them. And if I can, I always answer them. And, you know, I would love a thumbs up. And I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. I have creative videos every Monday and Wednesday. Then I have Alice in Wonderland videos every Saturday. And then every now and then I have a video of decluttering or whatever. Whatever I want to show you. So, um, subscribe and hit that notification bell. That's it for today, guys. All that's left to say is... Groetjes from Holland. Greetings from Holland.